more like the man said starting to actually understand that the purpose of his visit was an example of the love of God instead of coming to do something there are those who would love the man and feel they have to be saved by him or suffer a little in order to to be like him and then there are those who know something different because he's alive and they look at him and say I love you and I don't even have a prophet and everything in this great country centers around that occurrence dear ones as you go forth in these days take a look with the correct story in front of you a story of love you get to see what the ages have done with it you get to see the rebels within the church you get to see the popes that weren't so popish <laughs> and you get to see the ones who really understood and loved this man and put him in their heart and his family and to this day continue to understand he was there as a shining example of what I teach to this day to all of you there is a creator who knows who you are who loves you and you are almost unlimited in what you can do with this especially with the ship and the shift will explain later although we've explained it many times there are many who need to hear it who will listen to this later that's the story I've never really told not like this there are them have been many who says well that cry on you know he's a, a channel and that means that the, the cry on energy in the channel has nothing whatsoever nothing whatsoever to do with that which you call religion I'll tell you something the masters of this planet all of them who taught the love of God the oneness with all things are my teammates indeed listen to them for what they have to say in this new energy is starting to come forth to create a more peaceful earth because the time is right for the message of the man to take hold that's what I think that's what I teach I'm in love with humanity for these reasons and so it is greetings dear ones I'm Cryon of magnetic service we celebrate the place we are in we celebrate the dedication and the love of this mountaintop monastery for the original builders and what they were trying to do as high as they could build to touch the face of God to show everyone around that they had time to build to worship to be it's an honoring of the creative source it's an honoring of God in whatever way they felt God would be honored and in this it participates in many ley lines we sit in this place in the light rain and so the message won't be long but it's a message of wonder how these things could be how the ley lines could line up but the wonder is in the heart of the human being the wonder is in the exposition of God into you in whatever way you feel I want to remind you of something this is the second channel of a series if you have tuned into this from some other place some other source this is number two in Italy in 2018 and so it goes with the first one and there is a reason why these hooked together and these messages are given the way they are the first one was a story that you know so well but it started because it was a paradigm changer for the earth you sit on this mountain observing the beauty and the energy that is here because of this paradigm changer this man then we say to you 
after all of these years, what is the next paradigm shift? And was there a precursor of it? Was there anything that would say, what's next? And we ask this of you. If you're a senior here, you know what the prophecy said. Something was going to happen around the year 2000 and in that decade. Something was going to happen. Perhaps you were not one who read scripture, but history. Perhaps you read Nostradamus. Something was going to happen. And the prophecies went on. No matter what the organization was, whatever the scriptures you were reading, they all said the same thing. There is something that's going to happen. And so you look at it, it's the same kind of precursor energy. When the master himself came, that was foretold. And so all of your scriptures were saying the same thing. Something is happening. Many of you said, well, it has to be the end of the planet. It has to be an Armageddon there. And this was common among humans to say, well, it's going to be the end. Perhaps it's going to be the beginning in certain ways, but something was going to happen. Now, let me enlarge that for a moment, because the indigenous of the planet said the same thing. Long before the master got here of love, there was prophecy of this timing. Within this time, the decades after the year 2000, if humanity was here, something was going to happen, another paradigm shift another dispensation, and it has. Dear ones, that is what we speak of. We'll talk about the actual shift, perhaps at another time in this series. Some of you have heard it before, others need to. But this particular little channel right now is to remind you something has happened. Beautiful. Both the indigenous and the scripture have said that this particular energy could be like, almost like a coming again of the master. It could be, according to the indigenous who didn't even know the master, it would be a change in human nature 